politicians uh, uh, very corrupt, so it leads to poverty. What is the biggest misconception about Greece? That we're friendly. No one's breaking plates when they celebrate anymore. These guys go richer and more richer. And also we have huge police corruption. Is Baklava Greek or Turkish? <laughs> The most. Yeah. I guess so, no, yeah. <laughs> Does Greek people hate Turkey? Yeah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. It's a beautiful day, beautiful weather. Today we are in Athens, Greece. I will be asking some questions to locals. But before we all start, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with others. Are we ready to go? Let's start. Woo! What is your favorite thing about Greece? Our culture, totally. Summer vacations, uh, beach is a very nice place to relax. I love the sun. The nightlife. The weather. The weather, of course. Uh, the people are really warm. And the, the way we celebrate, enjoy life. The weather is for sure. I guess the people. What is the thing that you don't like about Greece? I guess the people. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I think we are fairly divided, like 50 people. A polarizing. Yeah, don't agree with each other. Oh, uh, politically? Yeah, yeah. Too much noise sometimes. Then nervous, because I am nervous. <laughs> the salary. The government. I hear the government from a lot of people. Politics. Politicians uh, uh, very corrupt, so it leads to poverty. You can see the homeless people in the streets, uh, you can see the problem in our country. That would be also some people, because it's not everyone that's nice. The people that are not nice, they are not in the middle, they are oh. the worst. So um, people don't get along with each other much. Yeah. What is the biggest misconception about Greece? That we're friendly. Taboo thing, we're fr some oh. people are friendly, but it depends on who you meet. And everything is like a fairy tale here. The people work really hard here. Most of the people work in half time on papers. So we're a third world country. We are like uh, very poor. But uh, we are poor. So <laughs> uh, maybe some believe that we are rich, so we. No, you're not. <laughs> no one's breaking plates when they celebrate anymore. What is the biggest problem that Greek society faces? Poverty. Really bad salaries, the government doesn't really care. They only support the, the rich guys. The rich guys go richer and more richer. And also we have huge police corruption. I guess the politicians. I think the education. Too many immigrants, you know. Crime rates are rising because they can't find legal jobs. They think more about themselves than what the other is feeling and they don't have that much empathy. I think that here everybody wants to be the leader and to do whatever he or she wants. What comes to your mind when you hear about Turkey? Hagia Sophia, Bosphorus, the balloons in Cappadocia. I think that it's a beautiful country, mostly Istanbul. Western side of here, the European side, I think they are more open-minded and more welcome to Greeks. Baklava. <laughs> is Baklava Greek or Turkish? <laughs> it's Turkish, but uh, we take it, I, I think. Know. The mosque. Yeah. I guess so, no, yeah. It's not a mosque. <laughs> yeah, it used to be church. Now it's a mosque. Yeah. <laughs> really nice sweets. Like yeah. the food. Baklava. Or maybe you're really fashionable. So it's a beautiful country. I really like the culture there. The food also. Does Greek people hate Turkey? Yeah. Some of the old people, as we were saying, they're the ones that don't like Turkey. What about the young people? They don't care if they care about What do you think? I don't hate Turkey, me personally. I don't have a reason to hate them. No, no, no. You don't like uh, Turks if you are uh, far from Turkey, isolated area. Yeah. I think the older generation have like a perception that Turks are bad, but the younger and younger generation are pretty poor. I think most of the Turks don't have a problem. I think it's Greek um, because they are very bright as a people. We have a problem, I would say, against them. No, no, no. Some people yes, some people not. Most of them they hate the politicians. The racist ones. But the majority doesn't. It's in the past. Only people that, are, that their mind is stuck in the history. What is your dream? Ah, uh, yes, to be happy and, and make enough money to make also my friends happy. Make enough money to. And be my family uh, good, happy, have a good life. And grab beers in a few minutes, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Go to another country. You've never been abroad? To, to live for a few years. Oh, really? Where do you want to go? I guess Netherlands. 
Well, uh, my dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hardest question to get. Yes. I want to travel around the world and uh, make uh, new friends. I would like to become a politician to change some things. Am I talking with the future president of Greece? Maybe. Maybe? My if first interview. Your first interview? <laughs> yeah, cool. We should do this 20 years later. <laughs> My dream is to become a captain of the future. Yeah. This uh, uh, guy you, you don't have dreams. Oh. I tend to be a successful agricultural specialist. To be an occupational therapist, to travel a lot. To be with people that are happy, they love me. My last question, are you ready? Yes. If you had the all power in the world, what would you change? Money, the way they work, actually. Oh, this is a good answer. The way you make money, it's not fair. If you're lucky, you are born in a rich family, it's more likely to become rich too. But if you're born in a poor family, it's very hard for you to go up and make more money. I would try to change the race poverty so everyone can have access to everything. I think the same borders. Borders? Can you imagine a world without borders? Be very peaceful. <laughs> I won't stop uh, the wars. Uh, would they give access to basic human rights to every person in the world? Their uh, wealth has been distributed uh, unequally. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Mm -hmm. I would like to change the problem with the hunger that exists in many countries. So thanks for watching the video guys. If you haven't liked the video yet, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading a very crazy video about me saying yes to total strangers. And we went to this place called Marathon and we walked back to Athens. Guys, you shouldn't miss this. And I hope to see you soon.